Perfect. Uh, and just to go a bit to the S and P 500, if that's okay, you know, mm -hmm. we, we're looking at a possibly the cusp of breaking significant technical support levels in that index. Uh, possibility of running down to 4,200 in the next couple of days. What do you see there? Yeah. So these August 2022 highs, obviously a very big area that uh, you know today, as we're talking, they are being breached. Uh, your next big area here is going to be 4180. This is a huge, huge, huge area. Uh, so maybe not as as surprising to see um, these areas up here, but we definitely do not want to see um this 4180 area to be broken mm -hmm. that would be um pretty pretty hard because we had a we had a nice rally above that lots of demand and we've also given up you know we've still got a rate of trend here however you want to draw it um so are we looking for you know, hopefully in the next day or two, we get a bounce and this uptrend can continue. If that's broken, uh, the next area is certainly 4,180 or 4,200. Um, and then below that, I think really all bets are off. You get back below 4,180 and we are definitely going to probably have a rough uh, November and December. Got it. I mean, again, just jumping to the last index of the three, the major ones, the NASDAQ obviously had a really good run with the AI boom. That's starting to reverse. You could see some of the stocks starting to feel it and the NASDAQ certainly as well. Is this a trend that's happening across all three or do you see a little bit of balance in the NASDAQ over the next few days? The NASDAQ, as you said, definitely has been the strongest. It's been the strongest all year. I mean, really, I can argue it's been the strongest for, you know, six or seven years. Um, yeah. On a technical basis, it has held up the best right here. It's those same October 2022 highs that we just talked about on the S&P. Well, we're pretty far away from those on the NASDAQ. Um, we can look at this. Uh, we'll just call it 12,800. It's the equivalent to that 41,800 level. So again, as you can see, um, we've got quite a... Um, you know, it would it's gonna it would take another six and a half percent, um, roughly speaking, to get back to those highs, these August 2022 highs. Yeah. I would like to see the Nasdaq hold in here. I think best bet is the Nasdaq holds in here. Uh, what gives me a little bit of the um heebie-jeebies a little skeptical is apple um mm. do not like apple up here really unfortunate that it couldn't hold these all-time highs um and we continue again we, we're not you know we, we use these as broad areas but apple breaking back below this 182 again uh, as we know it's important i know you, you're probably as tired of hearing about it as as i am too but the yeah you know the, the matter of the facts are it's an extremely important stock that carries a ton of weighting in what these broad indices do, especially the NASDAQ. Um, and we're just really, so here's the August 2022 highs for the Apple. We're, you know, kind of breaking those here today. Yes, we saw that, you know, maybe about five weeks ago. But should this stick is a very lethargic bounce attempt. Um, really, we just came up here to fill this gap and right back down. Um, and then the right. second piece to that um, is equally as concerning is uh, is Microsoft, right? Yeah. So again, just unfortunately does not hold this move higher. And now you are looking at lower lows. Um, kind of got this neckline over here so these are definitely two stocks that um need to fix themselves or it's just a big gray cloud on the market at the moment